Welcome to eMedia. This tutorial will go in depth on how to curate and organize resources you find in the eMedia library. Before you begin, be sure that you have logged in to eMedia using your MyUEN credentials. This will give you access to the licensed resources on the site and allow you to save resources for later use. If you need help logging in, or if you need any eMedia support, you can send a help request by clicking on the support button found on the side of each page. As you explore eMedia, you will find all kinds of educational resources you can use to support your teaching and your own professional learning. When you find resources you like, you will naturally want to save them so you can easily access them anytime they're needed. Some eMedia resources can be downloaded straight to your computer. For example, when looking at the preview of this lesson plan, you can see there is a download icon that looks like a cloud with an arrow in it. Clicking on this icon will download the lesson plan to your computer where you can organize it with all your other educational files. The download button can also be accessed when viewing the full resource. You'll notice that there are several file types you can download. I prefer the basic PDF download, but you can select whichever type works best for you. Different types of resources can be downloaded in different ways. You'll notice, for example, that there is no download icon on the preview page for this video. However, if you click on the View Resource button, you can preview the video and you can click on the small Download Video button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Images and graphics behave differently too. Again, you will notice that you do not see a download button on the preview screen for this image. However, when you click the View Resource button, the image automatically downloads to your computer. Downloading is not the only way to save and curate eMedia resources. You can also save resources to your eMedia account. Here's how. Let's say you found this Gale Tech tutorial helpful and you want to be able to easily return to it as needed. On the resource preview page, you can click on the save button. You can choose to save the resource to your items by selecting any of the folders you have created. If you haven't yet created any folders or if you want a new folder, you can click the Create New Folder button. Type in the name of your new folder, then select where you would like that folder to live. I'm going to add this new folder to My Items, but you can see that I could add it as a subfolder inside other folders that have already been created. Click Create and Save. The resource can now be easily accessed by clicking on your account icon, then My Items, and then the folder it was filed into. For more information, tutorials, and highlights, visit the Utah's Online Library product page at uen.org slash uol, or visit the Getting Started with eMedia Hub. If you have additional questions, feel free to send an email to emedia at uen.org.